guys right now? Uh, we are just, uh, Ben Edlund and I just figured out the episode for episode 9. So uh, by the time we air, we'll be well past mid-season in the storyline. How much of the end of season five was affected by the decision to cut back for the sixth season? Did it go pretty much according to the plan you had from the beginning? What were like some of the small changes there? Um, the yeah, it's um, you know, I mean, I was able to keep a lot of the story that I wanted, and then obviously others parts I couldn't, and. Um, you know, I would say, you know, the wrapping out of obviously wrapping out the Lucifer and Michael story wrapped out pretty much the way it was going to wrap up. Um, without going into too much detail, I can say that you know, were that to be the series finale, um, I probably would have wrapped it out with more finality, um, and I probably would have left the characters in a place that I wouldn't have done a cliffhanger. I probably would have wrapped it out in a place where you would have seen where they were going to be for the rest of their lives. But they're off on a new adventure. Rest of their lives, so you would have maybe... Open new interpretation. Make of that what you will. You stepped down as a full-time show. Yeah. But what does that mean for the show? Are you still there? I am still there. I've been in the room on, um, you know, every episode break, I think. I've, I've, I've been in the room in the discussions for all the episode ideas. I've given notes on every script. Um, I mean, I like to... I, I'm, I'm basically consigliere. I mean, I'm, I'm, my job is to help Sarah and Bob and to make sure that the show falls within like the tonal parameters of the show, um, while still encouraging them to really push it into kind of a new tonal direction. I mean, Supernatural is a show, I mean, I think, um, that's always been pretty good about reinventing itself. And, you know, it started as a demon show, and then it became an angel show, and then it became a Bible show, and all this from... Hell, even before a demon show, it was just a monster show. And so, so I think it's a show that thrives on always changing into something else. And you know, and I liken it to, or I hope it is, you know, the difference between like the Alien movies. I mean, before they got weird, around like episodes four, five, seven, whatever. But like the way that like different filmmakers brought to them a different style, and I'm hoping that Supernatural has a little bit of that. I hope it's recognizable, recognizably our show. But I think the season's grittier and, and kind of more noir in a way. And I, always, I say that, like, if because what my sort of love as a 12-year-old boy was was Star Wars. And so for me, the mythology was Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and very Joseph Campbell and a very straightforward hero's journey that kind of kept marching forward and escalating. And, and, and Sarah brings, like, a different wealth of experiences. And I think we're, we're talking more about, like, Chinatown or... LA Confidential and like something that twists a maze and, and every time you learn something new in the mythology it changes what you thought came before it and, and what does it all mean and what's it all add up to and, and, and I think there'll be more of a mystery this year that I, that I think is interesting. What kind of creatures are the um, Well, you know, we're dealing a lot with like monsters again, getting back into monsters and creatures. Angels and demons are a little exhausted. It's hard to top the apocalypse. Like, apocalypse part two! It's bigger! Because there's more clowns in it and so so it's about creatures so you know we're bringing back jinn we're gonna look at vampires shapeshifters skinwalkers um as a little tease because ben edlin just finished coming up with this idea just because i think it's so nuts like fairies and goblins and leprechauns in a very ben edlin way like not what you expect like so weird frankly borderline offensive, like just a really unique, strange, trippy, like we pitched it to Bob Singer and he gave us this look where he was like, you are effing nuts. And that's when I knew that we had done our job. So, uh, so I think all that and more.